Hello, hello. It's business partner. P1 plus lesson one. In the first lesson, we are going to learn more about organization. Look, number one, organization. Look at this nice picture. <laughs> These girls are really organized in doing this, uh, this thing here, right? Really nice. Can we enlarge this sentence? Look at the photo and read the quote. The quote is, the best place to work is a place where you can be your best. Do you understand that? It was said by Rosaline Glickman, a PhD executive coach. Do you know what be your best means? Ser o seu melhor, right? To be able to produce better, to help others better, best, and these things. Do you agree with the quote? Think about it. Do you think the best place to work is where you can be your best? Or for other people, the best place to work is where you earn more money, where you can help more others but it's uh, here what she says goes beyond the money or what you do but what you are and people some people say that first you should be something and then you would do things so constant we are going to concentrate in this training in this book to be become better people better workers and this is really nice. Uh, we have here the unit overview. We have one, two, three, four, five parts and a business workshop. And the first lesson here is on a news organization. We are going to see a new a video on a news organization and look, we can use vocabulary related to a range of job roles and responsibilities within a company or organization. It will be really nice and we'll have a project of showing someone around the department or campus. Really good. So let's move on to the next page. Um, Let's go to 1.1, that is what we are going to see in this video. It's the first lesson, so be patient, because I'm still learning on how to deal with this program here, to control the page. A news organization. Do you watch the news? Do you like watching TV? Do you read the newspaper? Do you read the news online? Well, I believe that most people see things on uh, about the news. And what is it about? As we said, we are going to use vocabulary related to a range of job roles, job roles, parts or different objectives of people in the job things that people do, and responsibilities within a company or organization. Because the roles are connected to many different organizations, not only a news organization. We have some things to do, and the first one here is this exercise here. The, these are some typical departments in a company, any company. What do you think each one does? Do you know? We have here finance, human resources, marketing, operations, production, and sales. Use some of the keywords and phrases in the second box to help you. Let's see some of these words here. Brand image, cash flow, customer service, 
health and safety, invoicing, manufacturing, pricing, promotion, quality control, recruiting, and supply chain. These are things that people do. These are things that are connected to these jobs, these roles, these departments in a company. And what do you think each one does? Finance, for example, is involved in involves what of these things? And human resources. Do you agree that brand image is connected more to marketing than to finance? Cash flow. Clash, cash flow is more connected to finance. Think about the other ones. So pause the video and think about these words for one minute and what the relations are with the jobs. Can you do that? Well, after you did that, let's just think about maybe you have problem with the word invoicing. An invoice is a list of goods that have been sold, work that has been done, showing what you must pay. Not a fiscal or something like that. To invoice someone is to write or send someone a bill for work or goods, right? This is connected to finance. Finance is the part of an organization that manages manages its money and cash flow. The business functions typically include planning, organizing, auditing, accounting for and controlling its company's finances. It raises invoices and chases payment. Aqui, ó, bufufa na minha mão. The department also usually produces the company's financial statements. Let's move on. Human resources, what do they do? It's responsible for recruiting, interviewing and contracting works, workers. It may also handle employees, employee relations, health and safety, payroll, benefits and training. The marketing department is responsible for market research, promotional campaigns, brand promotion and brand image, as well as customer relationship programs, such as social media management. It main, its main role is to increase revenue for the business. The value of the company has to increase because of the marketing department. Operations. Operations department's primary functions include the design and management of products, services and processes. It controls the supply chain. The operations department of a manufacturing company is in charge of making the products that a company sells and is therefore often called the production department instead. Performing quality assurance and audits are also functions of an operations department. Production. Production is the functional area responsible for making sure that raw materials are provided and made into finished goods effectively through, through a series of production processes. Sales is the division of a business that is responsible for selling products or providing services such as after sales customer services. The role of a sales department varies and different companies interpret sales and marketing in widely varying ways. Varying ways. In some companies, sales may be part of the marketing department. In general, the sales team works closely with the marketing department to plan promotions, promotion campaigns and sales strategies. So we covered all these departments and words here. The idea is that in the live lesson, we are going to talk a little more about these 
different departments, but we aren't going to read in dictionaries anymore because we have already covered in the video, okay? Can you name other departments? Think, what is missing? We didn't talk about IT. We haven't talked about IT. And customer service. Hey, I have a problem with this product here. Logistics. Ah, delivering the products. Legal. You have legal problems and you have lawyers to help you. And research and development. Wow, that's another very important department. Can you name others? Maybe there are others. Which departments do you think do the most important work and why? This is for you to say. What do you think? Maybe because you're more identified with the mission of that department. That's a very good question for the live lesson, right? But you can think before the lesson. Would you like to work for a news organization? What do you imagine it is like? A news organization, a newspaper, a TV channel, a sports channel, a website, a news organization. What do you imagine it is like? We are going to talk about that in the live lesson. I really want to listen from you what you think about. So why don't you think something about something to say when we are in the live lesson, right? And in what ways do you think working for a news organization is stressful? Can it cause stress? Mm, I think so. I think so. Uh, for example, it's, it can be stressful because they have deadlines every day to produce new programs. Imagine the journal, the live journal at 8 p.m. News have been prepared before 8, right? You can't just finish at 9 <laughs> if the program is at 8, right? So imagine, sometimes you have to rush to produce things and it can be really uh, stressful. But it can be glamorous, can't it? I think so. Because imagine, you can interview a, a very important sports person. Nice, right? It can be nice. Maybe you are not into sports, but you are into um, movies, films, and you can have access to interview a very important Hollywood star. That's glamorous, right? Interesting. Well, it can be interesting in the sense that the world and the news is changing constantly and that dramatic things can ha happen. I like that. Mm, well, look at three. Oops, I'm going to do this all the time. Uh, watch the video and match the five speakers with the jobs. Well, we have these jobs. Uh, director of Human Resources, a Finance Supervisor, a News Editor, a Program Director, and a News Reporter. And we have these five people. Only by looking, we can't have a clue. Maybe we can for this guy here. And maybe this one. The other ones, I wouldn't guess correctly, I believe. I could guess, but you know. But we are going to watch now. We are going to leave this part for the live lesson. And we are going to watch, pay attention and be able to name their, their jobs. And um, we are going to see the second part as well. Which of these people probably work closely together on a daily basis. But we can talk a little about that. Because who do you think work uh, works together? Um, for example, um, 
Well, we are going to watch because they are going to describe what they do, what these jobs involve. And this is very important. And then we are going to complete number four. Let's just read the sentences and check that we don't have any trouble with vocabulary. Uh, watch the video again, complete the information using the word use one word in each gap. It's an, it is important that individuals and teams understand their blah and responsibilities. And I don't think that it happens only in these jobs. I think in every organization, in every team, they have to do that. Staff in the newsroom are responsible for blah the teams gathering news globally. What's the meaning of gather? Gather is here. Get things from different places and put them together in one place. Together, juntar. Arti, Arti, this one, this woman, gives a and the task of covering a news story. We are going to see in the video. Nick works with a camera. A camera what? To make sure they are getting the right picture. Nick. Aha, uh -huh, so he doesn't work in finance, right? Mm -hmm. John's role is to lead the production. Blah. John. John's role. What he does. The production something. I don't know. We are going to see. Five, six. He describes his job as similar to the blah of an orchestra. Mm. Aha. I probably understand. The human resources director has several strategic and blah priorities. And we are going to learn more. Who is in charge of or the director of human resources. And finally, eight. Ray says it's important to make sure the blah come in on time. This is number five, Ray. We saw in the order maybe Artie, Nick, John, the human resources director, and Ray. Two, four, five. Aha! So we could see who the human resources director is because it doesn't have the name here. Mm, good detective. We have Artie, we have Nick, we have John. Ah, so probably Melanie is the director of human resources. <laughs> Shh, don't tell your teacher that I told you. But you see, using pre-reading is very important in an exercise. But uh, in the live lesson, we are going to talk a lot about these and look at this question in five here. What do you have to do? What do you think each person likes most and least about their job? And we are talking about a director of human resources. What do you think is the best thing about this job? Why don't you think prior the lesson? I think that meeting people, helping people with their job and hiring people, doing or being part of interviews, it, these are probably very positive things connected to that. But maybe dealing with personal problems can be a difficult part of the job. I think. I'm not sure, but I think so. And finance supervisor. What do you think is an interesting part of the job? After watching the video, we are going to have a much better point of view connected to that, right? News editor. Wow, it's probably a very stressful job, but Imagine, you probably know a lot about what's going on. Program director. 
we are going to learn and see what's positive and negative. So we are going to talk a lot during the live lesson. Let's talk now about roles and responsibilities. And we have these words here. Involves, lead, lead, direct, organize, make sure and run, running, run is to work, to conduct the job or something like, like that, right? Roles and responsibilities. Let's just take a look of the sentences. Obviously, during the live lesson, we can talk about these sentences in more depth, but let's try to see the answers now. What do, do the words in the box mean? Complete the extracts from the video using the words and phrases in the box. My job, news gathering for a major's, major news organization. My job involves, okay, involves news gathering for a major news organization. My role as, a pro, as program director is to, the production team, is to, to lead to direct, to manage the production team, the people that take up the production. I'm responsible for running the human resource team and we need to make sure we're getting cash in. Oh, that's connected to finances, right? Cash in. So make sure, we need to make sure a police officer needs to make sure, a doctor has to make sure he's treating well the patient. Involves, if an activity or situation involves something, that thing is part of it or a result of it. To lead, the position of having control of, of or responsibility for a group of people or an activity. Running. Running uh, is organizing or being in charge of an activity, business, organization or country. And make sure, um, check that something has been done. That's it. Well, let's go to number seven, exercise seven here. Well, 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 what are we going to do here? It's basically connected to prepositions. Do you like prepositions? Well, I remember a former teacher that said that teachers start working with prepositions and having problems with them. And when they retire, they still have problems with prepositions. Imagine students. <laughs> Poor you. Well, we have these prepositions and we have to put in these gaps here. Look at some expressions people use to talk about their jobs. And by learning these expressions, we are going to be able to describe better our own jobs. That's really nice. Let's complete the expressions in bold using the prepositions in the box. That's really nice. We can check in the live lesson, but if we already know, it's going to be much easier for us to talk about. But you can pause the video and try yourself. Try it yourself. I report, I report after, for, of, to or with the IT director. Or do you remember another department? IT, intelligence, Techn uh, information technology. Sorry. I report to the IT director. A nurse reports to the doctor, to a surgeon, to a doctor. I don't know. A psychologist reports to the human resource director. Maybe. I'm the head of sales. I work closely with the head of marketing. I look, 
after the company website. Look after, take care, cuidar. All right? I take care or I look after of the export documentation. I'm responsible for, ah, that's easy, right? I'm responsible for coordinating the production team. I'm in charge of the research and development team. And eight, I coordinate with all departments to ensure customer satisfaction. I really like these sentences and after doing these, again in the lab lesson, I'm really into learning more about your department, what you do in your company. But if you're not working yet, you could describe what you would like to work with and give some details about that. Okay? In eight, we have to read how two more people at the news organization describe their jobs. Complete the texts using words from exercise 6 and 7 and use one word in each gap. So in exercises 6 and 7 we used lots of words and these are words that we are going to use to complete these two texts. Can you do that before our lesson? We can check in the live lesson. But let's read together. My name's Francis Mulan. I'm in the head of marketing. I blow a small team of two marketing managers and a video producer. I will work blah, a variety of marketing strategies to promote the business, including events, social media and printed advertising. I mean blah of attracting new customers, retaining existing customers and positioning the business as innov innovative and creative. I blah directly to the head of strategy and development. My name is Donovan Parsons. I'm a camera operator and I take blah of the camera equipment. I'm blah for interpreting what the director wants to happen and putting it on screen. I blah closely with other technical departments such as lighting and sound. My duties also include supervising the work of the camera assistant. We are in a live television environment, so we have to make blah we can do the job under pressure and I do believe that they work under pressure. So try to complete these gaps before our live lesson and then we are going to talk more about these two people. In nine, look, work in pairs and how would you describe your own job? A job you would like to have in the future or a job in the box, maybe if you're not working at the moment. Use some of the vocabulary from exercises 6 and 7. Uh, can you describe your own job? So get prepared for that. You're going to do that in the live lesson if you're already working. Or maybe you're not working, but you're studying or you have plans for the future. So can you describe what you would like to do in the future? Otherwise, we can describe these jobs here. An actor, a hotel manager, a journalist, a personal shopper, a photographer or a sports trainer. I'm also a photographer and I used to take pictures of events. I would go there, take pictures of happy people doing happy things in a very special moment of their lives and then I would give the pictures to the, the, those people. I would have to, I would like Photoshop the pictures before giving them and the best thing in photography was to show a picture and see the people doing this 
of appreciation when they loved the pictures. This is this was the best part of selling or showing a picture. Okay. Basically, this is it. Well, we have this pronunciation bank uh, on word stress. This is wonderful because we can learn how to speak some words and well let's take a short look at it uh, for example we can uh, we can record the stress pattern of a word by using large and small circles like this photographer for example photographer has four syllables and the second syllable is the stressed one then we have these words here and we have these patterns with circles right and they could have given more space right why this space here and then well whatever i'm going to play and you are going to listen to the words uh, put the words in the correct place in the table according to their stress pattern right Oh, well, I'm going to play a little differently from here. But here, there's a small circle here. It's a big one and a small, all right, for program, website. I'm going to put them here. Let's see the words here. We have advertising, coordinate, director, involves, manager, marketing, operator, program, report, resources, responsible and website. Let's see the other words. Manager, marketing, advertising, operator, involves, report, report, director, resources, coordinate and responsible. In the live lesson we are going to listen to all these words, right? And then listen again and it will be your part to repeat, your time to repeat, okay? It's an extra I think it's very nice. Okay, I can play. You can repeat now. Unit 1 Pronunciation. Recording one. One. Program. Website. Two. Manager. Marketing. Three. Advertising. Operator. Four. Involves. Report. Five. Director. Resources. Six. Coordinate. Responsible. Right? Very nice. This is very good but better than that is exercise 10 that is the project showing someone around imagine that you are in a company and there's a new worker so someone is coming to work in the company it's wonderful isn't it the first day wonderful imagine that you are going to show a new member of staff around the organization where you work or a new or overseas student around the campus of the place where you study. Do you already, you already work? For example, you work in a bank and you have to show a new person, a new member of staff, all the departments of that place. And well, otherwise, if it's a, if the company is too big, decide which departments or areas you would take the new employee or student to and why. 
And you have to be prepared to talk about that. We are going to talk about that. And which key people would you introduce your new employee or student to? I would like to know a tia do chá do café, because they are wonderful people. But seriously speaking, who would you like to show? How would you briefly describe the roles and responsibilities of three people you meet? Because you are walking around the company or the campus and you meet people and you would be able to describe these people. So let's get prepared to talk about three people and to describe them. And then in part B, we are going to role play the introductions with the new employee or student. What would you be? What would be some good questions to ask and treat people about their roles and responsibilities? So the idea is that we are going to be able to get prepared for that. We are going to save time to, to, to do this, like introducing yourself, introducing the departments, meeting three people and describing what they do. And the best thing we could do in the end of the lesson or as an after lesson assignment is to record that, imagining that we're going to, through those departments. Imagine that, that would be really good if we could record in the end or after the lesson, right? Well, 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 this is lesson 1.1, a news organization, and it will be lots of fun. See you in the live lesson. Bye-bye.